Okay, this is my review of the T-35. The T-35 is a premium vehicle in the Soviet line. Tier 1, battle rating 1.3, and I don't think I have to explain what the attraction of this vehicle is. Take a look. Five turrets, three different cannons, five machine guns. It's the land battleship concept of the 1930s come to reality, and look at this thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into all the basic stats, the basic features of the T-35. We'll go over the armor, the crew. We'll go into how to handle all these different turrets and guns. And then we'll have some in-game replays. And then we'll deliver a final verdict as to whether or not you want to spend your golden eagles, spend your money, to add this to your lineup. Okay, taking a closer look at the T-35. Obviously five turrets. You have two machine gun turrets. Two turrets with the 45 millimeter cannon and a machine gun and a central turret. The 76 millimeter gun and a machine gun. The turret rotation speed, vertical guidance, and reloading rate shown here, I believe all refer to the central turret. As we will see on the uh, test map, the turret types, each turret type has its own reload rate turret rotation speed and vertical guidance. Taking a look at the armor, you get starting at the front, 30, 24, but nicely sloped, 30 again. Uh, the central structure here, 20 in the front, 23 on the sides. Now the turrets I find to be a little bit odd because the slightly thinner armor in the front as on the sides in the case of the machine gun turrets, 22 and 23. The secondary turrets, the 45 and the machine guns, all have these sort of weak spots in the back. 10 millimeters for the machine gun turret. In the case of the 45s, you get 15 in the back as opposed to 25 on the sides. And the front of the 45 millimeter turrets are also a little curious. Only 17, there's this section here that appears to overlap. Uh, so I guess that's 34 for around the front, but the area around here is only 17. I always, that's a little odd to me. Uh, the central turret, 20, 15, 20, 20, 20. I don't think there's much overlap here. So it's just, oh, oh okay, you get 20 and another 20. So again, some extra protection immediately around the gun. And oddly enough, 21 in the back. <laughs> uh, 10 on the top, 20, 20 in the rear. The engine is a bit vulnerable from the rear. And the side's pretty good, actually. 23, and you have all these extra plates here at 11. A lot of structure in the way giving you a little extra protection, all these road wheels and so on. More stuff in between the bullet and you is good. <laughs> and taking a look inside, about 42 million crewmen. Okay, only 10. <laughs> uh, lots of ammo stored in the central area here for the 76. The 45 millimeter gun turrets appear to have their own ammo racks. So that's something to note. But having so many crewmen is an advantage because you can lose three, four, five guys and you're still going. Uh, okay, and max speed, 28 kilometers per hour. Not bad considering how big this vehicle is. And I think that just about does it. What we'll do next is go into the test map and we'll see how to manage all these different guns. All right, here we are on the test map and we're gonna discuss all the unique features of the T-35. As you might imagine, there are several things to know about with a vehicle with so many guns and turrets. The first thing to discuss is the ammo for the 45 millimeter guns. If you look at the bottom of the screen, 112 rounds of armor-piercing high-explosive ammo and um, that is what is important to know about that is that is not per gun. That is total. You have 56 rounds of that type per turret. The point being 
in game you could run out of ammo for one turret but not the other that's happened to me a couple of times where I keep shooting the front 45 the majority of the time and all of a sudden I can't fire it anymore it's because even though I sh I'm showing that I have ammo left for the 45s that's because the front 45 is out and only the rear 45 would had uh, uh, still still had ammo left so that's something to keep in mind that is not per turret that is total the next thing to be aware of is that each turret type has its own rotation speed the machine gun turrets rotate the fastest the 45s rotate the slowest the 76 main turret that's pretty quick but the 45s noticeably slower next thing gun depression and I think you can tell that the 45s can depress their guns a bit further maybe 5 10 degrees more than the 76 so if someone gets up close to you you may find it difficult to hit them with a 76 but you probably can hit them with a 45 and last but not least the reload rate the 45s reload faster than the 76 not surprising but something to be aware of you can make that into an advantage where sometimes you just sort of alternate between the two and I'm not really aiming here but I think you get the picture you can just sort of alternate between the 45 and the 76 and shock people with how quickly you can uh, send rounds downrange. This is just a quick review on how to switch between all the turrets and guns. You may already be familiar with how to do this from the M3 Lee, but we're going to just quickly review things here anyway. You're going to go into controls, tank control, and scroll down a bit, and here you've got all the uh, key bindings for selecting primary, secondary machine gun, and resetting your weapon selection. And you just set those to whatever you need. And you'll notice that normally all three turret types point where you normally go. And when you go into aiming mode here, or whatever they call it, <laughs> the aim point is that of the main gun, the 76. So I'm going to fire, and you can see the 45 sail way over and past the Panther. So let's say you want to switch between the two. Well, you just use your keys. We'll go with the primary first. And you'll notice now you don't have those two circles, two white circles outside of the main circle. And you'll also notice that only the 76 millimeter gun turret is turning. And when you go into your aim, aiming mode, your aim point's that of the 76 only. Likewise, secondary gun, whoops, secondary gun, <laughs> do it right this time. Now you'll notice only the front 45 is turning here. We'll get into that a little bit more in a second, but the aim point is that of the 45, as you might expect. Now if you hit the secondary gun again, which for me was T3, I've now switched to the rear 45. And so now when you go to the sniping mode or aim, aiming mode, that's the view you get. And likewise, you can do just the machine gun turrets. You'll notice only the front turret is turning. Hit it again, and now only the rear turret rear machine gun turret is turning. So you can cycle through each turret if you need to. And then to go back you just reset and you're back to where you were normally. So you can manually control 
each individual turret, which is pretty cool. Okay, a couple of things I want to bring up about the turrets. The first is there is a sweet spot where you can fire all three guns at once. It's kind of a narrow band, maybe 15, 20 degrees. And you'll also notice that the front turret has turned as far as it can turn, but even though it's firing, I don't know how helpful it's going to be. <laughs> you can see it firing off to the left there. So you can fire all three guns at once, but I don't know really how useful that's going to be, especially since it's such a kind of a narrow area maybe 20 degrees or so. Yeah. Now you would think, and this is the other issue, and probably more important issue, you'd think you'd be able to do the same in the opposite direction, but it doesn't seem to be the case. In fact, right about here, Maybe a little bit more. Yeah. Right here, it appears that neither 45 will fire, and only the main gun will fire. Now, this is a very narrow band, maybe 5 or 10 degrees. But it's there. So that's something to keep in mind because that's basically a blind spot or a weak spot with this tank and that's something to keep in mind not only when you're playing this vehicle but when you're playing against it. This might be <laughs> the angle to approach it. If you can take out the main turret, well, he can't fire back at you. And that's definitely something to remember. Okay, here we are in a realistic battle. This is a replay, so you can see the markers of the enemy tanks. But of course, in actual gameplay mode, you, you couldn't see them. And here we are, going to start off by taking out that M2. There we go. And from time to time, I'm just going to go ahead and speed up the replay every now and then just to keep, try and keep things at a reasonable speed. And here we are at normal speed and I'm struggling to get around this uh, corner. I can't quite turn and go uphill at the same time. And I'm going to surprise visitor. M2 runs right up to me. Watch his turrets carefully. <laughs> they both go flying. Now, I couldn't hit him with the 76, but I did get him with the 45, the front 45. I'm going to speed up the replay again here a bit. Just to keep things moving. And right about, yeah, right about here, I could see somebody was firing at something, but I wasn't sure what. And of course, you know, I'm looking in, and I'm like, okay, there's a dead friendly and an AI. So what's going on here? I'm not sure. And we're just going to, I'm cautiously approaching that corner. I'm not sure what's going on. Try to shoot at the PBY with a machine gun. Didn't get very far, and right then, oh, that's what was shooting. Now, fortunately, he couldn't hit me anymore. Uh, he's just firing into the dirt there, but I can't shoot him either. Trying to position, trying to figure out how I can get at him. 
I decided to just move forward and I'll have to move forward and come around. Speed things up again a bit and I look around real quick. And that's when he decides to make a move to go around me. But it's a bad idea. And I one shot him. I believe that was the 45 that hit him. Now there's an M2 up there that I did not notice. Again, this was uh, a realistic battle. And I think right now I was just looking around. This was a realistic battle, so those markers were not there during the actual game. This is just a replay, and <laughs> there comes that PBY again. Got a lot of machine guns, but I couldn't, uh, couldn't get a hit on them. And if you're at all confused by the uh, speed of a replay, you can just look up here and you can see what rate this the uh, replay is being shown at. Now the time here, I could only make out the one or two enemy tanks. That 75 gun carriage. There he is. I tried to take a shot, but the rock was in the way. Just couldn't quite do it. So as I was trying to figure out what to do, I think I just wound up repositioning. Yep. There we go. And Mr. M3, I hit this guy a couple of times, but I couldn't quite finish him off. went behind the tree. Somehow that did not finish him off. I was a little surprised by that. And then they start returning fire. Two different M3s. And now I'm in trouble. I'm taking a lot of damage. I'm losing crewman after crewman. Trying to finish the one off, trying to finish him off, maybe hit him one more time, and I just can't do it. You know, notice I'm taking a lot of damage, a lot of hits here, but I'm still going. I think in this, this exchange, I lost uh, four or five crewmen. I think five. <laughs> But I'm still going. And we call in artillery there. So I was pretty much forced to back off. And that guy was still there and I was kind of determined to try and finish him off somehow. Couldn't quite depress the gun down to take a shot. He hits me again. I'm starting to get nervous here. I'm taking some serious damage. And right about now I'm repairing and then... Artillery getting strafed from an airplane. And this guy runs right up to me in his M13. Not advisable. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why he ran right up to me. He should have uh, taken cover or something. And I think I'm just repairing here. Yep. I will speed up the replay again. So I'm just assessing what's happening here. Oh, hello. Hit 
the radiator, I think. That's one of the guys who was shooting at me earlier. And can't quite get on him. There we go. Now the replay shows the front turret being out and I think that's the case mainly because I at this point I think I only had oh hello <laughs> another guy running right up to me and I think I finish him off with 45 yep the rear 45 Now the front turret is out because I think at this point I only had uh, three or four crewmen left. I'll speed up the replay again. And I'll slow things back down just to uh, the situation here. I'm, I'm down to, I think, at this point, three crewmen. So I think the front turret is out. I only have the main turret and the rear 45 still going. And I think at this point in the game, there's only two enemy players left. And so I was thinking, okay, I'm just going to rush A. <laughs> and this is as fast as you can rush a in the T-35 or rush anything in the T-35. In a straight line it's not bad but when you gotta turn boy it's uh, it's a bit rough so I'm gonna speed things up again. There we go. I'm approaching A and I'm just kinda being cautious here. We'll slow back down to normal time. I'm just being cautious here. I'm looking around, thinking, okay, I know there's only two enemies left. Where are they? And I'm just wondering, waiting, where they come from. Now, if you look off to your left, you can see that's where one of the two enemies was. And I'm going to change views here. There we go. Now I was, I did not know that guy was there, obviously. Big shock, someone's calling in artillery on a capture. <laughs> but I'm just hanging around, thinking, okay, you can see I'm turning the turret, I'm looking around. Where's he hiding? And during this time, I wind up getting strafed <laughs> from a P-36. Now, that guy had fired. And because I was looking up at the airplane, the ep up at the P-36 that was sh trying to strafe me, I did not see him shoot. Had I seen him shoot, I would have known he was there and I might have been able to do something about it. In fact, I totally missed the fact that a friendly took a shot at him as well. I was so distracted by the airplane. And I shouldn't have because he couldn't do much to me. And there you go. <laughs> so there you have it. T-35 realistic battle replay. So there you have it, the T-35. We've taken a long close look at this vehicle. We looked at all the basic features, the armor, we followed it up, followed that up with a exhaustive <laughs> review of the turrets and guns and some in-game replay. And now it's time for our verdict. Is this worth the Golden Eagles? And I think the answer is yes. Uh, totally worth getting if you're interested in getting it. It's kind of a giant behemoth. It's always fun to take this out in game when everyone else is running around in their teeny tiny little tier one tanks and you're bringing this thing out 
Uh, it kind of does make you a little bit of a target sometimes, but uh, hey, you can handle it. You're the T-35, right? <laughs> anyway, I've had a lot of fun playing it. I don't think it's unbalanced, overpowered, or underpowered. I think it's just right. Uh, yeah, T-35, Wolf Arrow approved. So, if you liked the video, let me know in the comments below. Hit the like button if you liked it. Hit the dislike button if you disliked it. Please subscribe to my channel, and thank you for watching.